Today, the Ecolegion with Purpose Project Spotlight is on Mrs. Paula Campbell. Mrs. Campbell is a wife, a mother, a published author, an Amazon best-selling author, in fact. She's an entrepreneur, a mental health advocate, and an advocate for social change. Let us welcome Mrs. Campbell to the Ecolegion with Purpose Project on the Spotlight. Hello. Hi, Dr. Stevens, and thank you for having me. It's a pleasure. Mrs. Campbell, it is indeed my pleasure to welcome you to the Ecolegion with Purpose Project under the Spotlight. Thank I am looking forward to having an engaging, insightful, and interactive conversation with you about a topic which I believe is arguably one of the most consequential concepts in forming how we function as individuals, and ultimately what we perceive as our legacy. Yes, yes, purpose is very thought provoking. Um, your topic is very moving, it is a call for change in today's society. Call for change in today's society. I, I am so much in agreement with you. Mrs. Campbell, I'm going to ask you to define purpose for our listeners, but do so in a general way. For me, the definition of purpose is a knowing that which you are called to do an assignment, and it can be divine or it can be practical. I think that purpose begins the moment we are born. As we grow older, that purpose begins to enlighten us to what we're supposed to do in life. So purpose can be divine or practical. Yes. Or can practical. you distinguish the difference for our listeners? Well, the divine purpose could be your ministerial purpose, such as a pastor, the clergy, a nun, or it could be evangelism. The practical, I'm thinking of doctors, teachers, social advocates, um, the media, anything that impacts society is going to be purpose. If someone comes to you and they are better that they have come to you, then that was your purpose. Uh, and thank you. The situation for, better than it was before you got there. That's your you, purpose. And thanks for making the distinction. I think that is important for listeners to understand. Mm -hmm. So given that divine component and practical component, would you say that it is important for an individual like yourself to understand their purpose? It is extremely important because our purpose influences our behaviors, our actions, our thoughts, even our feelings. Um, as I said before, your purpose is a knowing. For me, I've always had a sense of knowing what I was supposed to do from a very early age. I love writing. That's always been my passion. It's just something that came very natural to me. And it influenced my behavior. It influenced my grades in school. I knew that my passion was writing, so therefore I did well in English literature. And I have gone on to write poetry. I've done spoken word. I've written books. And all of that is aligned with my purpose. So it's important to know what your purpose is. It's gonna influence everything that you do in life. Purpose always circles a back round. You cannot get over it. You can't get under it. It's gonna come back around to you some way, somehow. Like I said, it's a knowing, it's an instinct. You just know that you're supposed to do something. It's a burning in your belly, so to speak. Burning in your belly. So, mm -hmm. so let's talk about your specific purpose and, yes. and share that with, with our listeners, please. I believe my purpose, well, for one, I'm a mental health advocate. I wrote a best-selling um, anthology. I participated in that entitled Mommy's Mental Health. Mm -hmm. um, it went number one on Amazon within a few days. I bring awareness to mental health. Um, to erase the stigma surrounding it. We live in a society of uncertainty and mental health, especially since COVID has just been a subject and topic of discussion across the board. You hear it in the media, you see it on social media, we see it in the news, we hear it with celebrities. As a matter of fact, I think it was 2016, I spoke at a women's conference on my battle with depression and PTSD. I witnessed the murder of my sister when I was 17. And 
that played a very intricate role in my life. I couldn't make those thoughts go away. And I was ashamed to talk about it in the beginning because I felt different. I did not feel normal. But when I began to shed light on depression and how real it is, and now in society, you hear more and more people talking about it. It's just become something that's been very passionate for me uh, to shed light, to turn down the silence on that. It's just too much silence surrounding mental health. And the statistics show that 50 million people battle depression or mental health challenges a year. You know, one in three people will commit suicide every 15 minutes. That is, that number is just astronomical. It's crazy to me that we live in the 21st century and people have to hide behind their emotions. I want to break that stigma. I want to help break it. I know I can't do it alone, but as I said before, if I can leave a situation better than it was before I got there, then I've done my job, then I've done my purpose. Thank <laughs> you.